All right, we're back. And spoke with Matt. He this is no longer Palamon. This is Masca Rose. Masca Rose. Masca Rose. And she will be the benchmark of. He will be one of the three pillars of our team. Beautiful. We will have two other pillars, but we have to convert them first. Well, this is what you get for just waiting at the entrance while everyone else ran off. Um. But we get introduced to the two mascots of the series. Uh, Bingus and Bongus. Right? Sure. Oh, well, let me have fun. <laughs> a baby! Oh my god, another baby! These are Agumon and Gabumon, the two most prominent faces of the franchise. I Although they do have, um, they give them two very two just two personality traits in this one. Agumon is a little more energetic, while Gabumon is much more reserved. They are babies. Look at them. I want to pet Gabumon. I want to pet him. Even though he's a lizard with uh, with a wolf's pelt. Look how cute he is. Tell me he is not a baby. Exactly. You can't. <laughs> and you, just, you like the little... <laughs> He's a baby. I do think it's weird hearing them speak Japanese. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's because this game didn't get an English, uh, English dub. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Nokia, I don't think Digimon see humans that way, but okay. No? Again, they don't have, they don't really have... <laughs> but they do have smell, I'm like, hmm, you smell familiar. It's like, I smell you. Mm hmm Let me smell you. Yeah, they're a mix of, like, animalistic, but also, like, completely Baby. sentient. Oh. <laughs> Nokia, you're like 16 or 17. What are you talking about, pheromones? Um, because children are weird? See, even Agumon agrees, she's weird. Yeah. Look at the children. It's a scary person. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if I'd be exactly intimidated if Dorcas ran up towards me. I really don't like her hair. No. Oh, her hair and her clothes. <laughs> like, I'm very much like a pot, like a dress however the fuck you want to dress kind of person. I really don't care. And it's taken me a long time to get to that point. But like, that outfit is absurd. You can tell this game was made in Japan because they are sexualizing a teenager. <laughs> Am I wrong? No. Mm, she's the only one that's got a design that's that bad, though. Yeah. You know, the other main female character, it's like, it's not a... I, I'll agree, it's not like a most, the most practical thing, but it's also not fishnet partying of a dress. <laughs> yeah. I think that's like, I don't know. I, I have a lot of issues with, cause like I know North American culture is widely seen as very prudish around the world. I, again, it's like, I don't care what people wear or what people do. My problem is when it comes to like sexualizing children, basically. Like, it just really, I don't know. I agree, and it, and again, not like to like. This is gonna sound weird. It's just, when it comes to teenagers, it's weird. It's a weird middle ground because they are at that age where they're starting to. Yeah. A battle. Mm -hmm. Look at the pink things. Those are Coralmon. I love them. Those are the stage before Agumon. I love them. They are just balls with ears and mouths. I love them. Look at the little pink babies. And unfortunately, it won't be until after we log out that we'll be able to actually start building our party. Okay. 
but at this point, and starting at, starting at this point, any Digimon we encounter in a battle will automatically be scanned in. And once it hits 100%, then, um, oh, is there a metal over here? Anyways, once they're 100%, then um, we can convert them. Okay. Oh my god! This, oh! Yeah, this is an example Why of... Why would you do that? Because I have to. But he was a baby! This also is an example of... Um, Digimon can have some wild evolution lines. Okay. Because that little pile of sludge will turn into a bug. <laughs> He's a baby! I can't believe you've hurt him. No, there's no metal over here. I can't believe it. There's a little, a literal ghost. Oh, he's beautiful too! Yeah, and the start of this area is... Uh, Chrysalismon is actually the, an exception. Most Digimon you'll find in this area are, in are infant and in training level. Okay. Both of these two are literal infant level Digimon. <laughs> And Digimon, it's weird, like, not weird, but, like, when it comes to how it handles, like, death, quote-unquote, like, Pokemon is just, oh, you knocked them out, but they're fine, they'll, they'll yeah. wake up later. Digimon, no, they'll die, but it's, basically, their data is recycled. Okay. So it's more like a reincarnation system they have. Yeah. So a Digimon will die, but then their data will just kind of reformat itself eventually. They won't remember anything from their past life, generally, but... In a way, they never stay dead. They'll just reappear eventually. Okay. Oh my god! I love him. Why do you harm the babies? Why do you harm the babies? Because Masker Rose needs levels. But babies! Also, um, just to point this out, because it's something that will be a thing later. Okay. Uh, so you can see at the bottom, Party Memory. Every Digimon has a memory cost to it, so we can't. So while we can have up to eleven party members, we won't have the memory to to be able to afford eleven yeah. party members right now. But Digimon, their cost of each Digimon is relevant to how powerful they are, like um, like their base stats generally. Yeah. And what level? So like, we could probably get like six infants in in our team. But Kalmon alone, as as a rookie, is already five points. Okay. We only have twenty memory. Do you hear the horses upstairs? Yes, I hear our children. Also, look at that run animation. <laughs> Zoom. Yeah. I'm talking about Palmon, like the. Zoom. She zoom. Baby, we have yeah. another vendor. Also, if we can get a 200% uh, scan, we'll, it'll just mean like the, the ABI stat's gonna be higher once we convert them. Okay. ABI is just a stat that we need for evolution to the final form. Yeah. And it's not a stat that evolves, that increases on its own. It's only from evolution and de-evolution. Okay. Which involves, the one thing that's pretty grindy about a lot of Digimon games, just to show, so, Masqueros has zero ABI. Okay. That will on that number will only increase when Masquerade Masqueros evolves or de-evolves. Okay. Now explain to me again the de-evolution thing. Basically, once you hit a, the level requirement to evolve or to evolve, or if you've seen the de the the previous form, yeah, you can evolve and de-evolve between any. You can de-evolve to any forms you have converted, or at least have in your, like, you actually have. Okay. At one point, anyway. But you can evolve into anything so long as you meet the stat requirements. Okay. So, like, we can't de-evolve Masqueros right now because we have not seen a Tanamon. Which is, like, a little bulb. Bu yeah. But because we haven't seen a Tanamon, like, we don't have a Tanamon in any way, we can't de-evolve into it. But if we meet any stat requirements for Masqueros' evolutions, we can evolve into them no problem. Even if we've never seen them before. Okay. And once, uh, but once they've evolved, they resort back to level 1, but with the stats of that level, of that range. Yeah. So, uh, a champion level will generally be stronger than most rookies, unless that rookie's at a really high level. Yeah. 
but ABI also dictates the maximum level of your of your partners. So Masqueros has zero ABI, so Masqueros is like highest level they can attain right now is fifteen. Okay. And they're level six right now. So realistically, Masqueros can only hit can get nine more levels before they're like not. Before they're capped. Really no, before they're level capped. But once Masqueros gains any amount of ABI, that max level increases. Okay. So, like, once Masqueros evolves into their champion form, the maximum level will be higher than 15. Okay. A child. Yeah. Okay, little Edgelord, relax. On oh, no more digital disturbance. Digital. And uh, this is going to be like the main fo uh, antagonistic force of the of the game. Okay. Oh, the creatures. These are called eaters. We won't we won't really learn that until later, but the name is kind of irrelevant. They're just nasty things. They're not Digimon. They're but they are a sort of like digital life form. It's like a virus, right? Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically, they get the name Eaters just because they eat any and all uh, data they can really get their hands on. Okay. But they especially like things that have mental data. So because this is a digital avatar of a real person... Oh. <laughs> Run! This is a small room. Where are we supposed to run to? Um, the toilet. Some super hacking powers here. Super hacking powers. Super hacking powers. You click and clack, click clack the keyboard. You do click clack the keyboard. And once again, she's frozen in in fear, not knowing really. Sorry. Why are you sorry? No, I mean Nokia. Oh, right. But then the boys come back. <laughs> the boys. The children. <laughs> Look at my fluffy unicorn lizard. I don't like that they gave Agumon, like, pecs. He's got pecs in a gut. I don't like that. No? The gut's fine, but putting pecs on a dinosaur is kind of weird. Why does he have titties? This is kind of a... Oh, well, it's kind of a forced loss scenario, but you don't actually lose. Yeah. It's just like, hey, you can't do shit. Actually, I'm looking at the teams again. I don't like I'm, this wiggly man. Because looking at the teams, my uh, vaccine might be chosen for me. Okay. <laughs> because there's one vaccine type that's actually really good to have early on. Yeah. But I, my 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 choice is a virus type because yours was the vaccine. Okay. Uh, okay, so no one. What was my main one that I picked again? You're fine, potato. Mm. Yeah, so it looks like no one's picked it, so that's going to be my vaccine pick for the game. Um, anyway, for um, general breakdown, it's just we each picked one of each type, so a vaccine, virus, and data. Yeah. Um, Matt and Kate picked a free type as well, which is kind of just a bonus type. And so that gives us our 11. Yeah. But we all, then, as I mentioned, we all each picked like our main one. Look at the babies. But the snail is too strong. The snail wiggly boy is too strong. It's odd you can't log out from anywhere though. You have to go to specific points. Look at the, the children. She run. She do run because she is a baby. 
Basically, that he's gonna log out, and then we're gonna log out. But not actually. Um, the snail has other plans. Wow, this slow motion, uh... Well, there's only so much you can get away with on a Vita. <laughs> yeah, uh, basically the, the snail got us. But at the same time, didn't get us. Basically, it caused an error in our logout. Yeah. We're both out, but also not. Okay. See what your next login. Thank you. Um, so we logged out, but... Um, I am. There's a bit of a glitch in the matrix on this one. Okay. Somehow we logged out as a digital form. Oh. <laughs> we are now ghostly blue boy. <laughs> we are a ghost. Why? How are we like that, though? Basically, the eater was able to separate our data from the conscious body. But not able to absorb the data. Oh. Where's our, our body? Uh, at home. <laughs> oh, it's this officer. Oh, God. Yeah, um, she'll arrest people just for looking at her funny. Well, that's her. That's kind of her catchphrase. I'll arrest you. Oh. So gross, so gross, I'm gonna, gonna arrest yeah. you. Even though technically we've done nothing wrong. We've just kind of collapsed in the middle of a crossing. And there is a baby. There's a baby. Please don't go on my computer. No mischief for little boy. Oh, and this is our closest confidant. What, the policewoman? No. Uh oh. What the fuck? Yeah. Okay. We will be seeing a lot of this woman. Yeah. She'll arrest a car, I guess. Oh. Yeah, she's gonna look well, she like. Got her titties out. Um. No idea. She's just enjoying her life. She, I guess I completely forgot she's actually one of the, I can't decide if she's a main character or a, or a, like the main supporting character. Yeah. Because she appears throughout the entire game, but like, the story more revolves around the teenagers. Yeah. Is she, is she like the, the grown-up? Um, she took, it's gonna, it's gonna be one of the next things that happens, but she's our boss now. Oh. I weren't sure if you were human. Um... Vaguely. Yeah, the smoke women. Uh, what happened to my body? I mean, I probably wouldn't be super. If you think about how our world works, a, a cyber. A, a cyber, like not, not cybernetic, like a digital form could probably exist in our world with how many, like how a broadband is constantly, like, yeah. display, it's more just how would you display a digital form? Um, it's the only thing preventing that kind of thing from existing in our world is just displaying it in reality. Yeah. But the really thing about it, data is always circulating around us. Yeah. Uh, what is this place? Oh, you didn't ask what happened to your body? That was the first question I asked. Oh. Questions just doesn't go away. Oh, I'm sorry. There is a tiny spot. Yeah, uh, so the real world, we are in downtown Tokyo. Oh. And actually for a lot of the um, real world areas, they actually went to those places in Tokyo and just kind of like took reference shots. Because you don't get free control of the camera in this yeah. game. Everything's from a from a set camera's perspective. But the exterior... <laughs> yes! 
but the exterior of all these places is based off the real world locations. Okay. <laughs> Apparently I am not allowed to sit up. Apparently not. Wait, who are you? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently we forgot to ask that question. <laughs> I'm just confused as to why she's got her boobs out. Like, go, go her, but... <laughs> and her sweater wrapped around her neck. And as a scarf. <laughs> yeah, it's a kind of weird look. But yeah. you know what? I don't really know anything about fashion, so... Yeah, Kyoko is going to be our primary kind of support character. Okay. And, you know, our boss. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I will save. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Also, for anyone looking at the... Jesus! I was going to explain. When you see the playtime, that's not an actual, accurate representation of how long I've actually played the game. Because any because even putting the game into sleep mode will continue to add to it. Okay. Yeah, so the outside of that building is actually what the uh, the boardwalk, this boardwalk, boardwalk looks like in Japan. Oh. I don't know how accurate the inside is, but that's what the, in the outside looks like. That's kind of neat, though. I like that they, like... But this is a Kurame detective agency. Somehow, despite being completely digital, we could sit on a couch. The fact we're not phasing through yeah, things. We don't have a body. Like, I'm just... I'm sorry. I'm still very confused. <laughs> How can you sit without a body? Where is your bum? Uh, apparently we have a, 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 a real digital ass. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much exactly what happened. Our mental data, like what makes up, what was our brain when we logged in, yeah, uh, was separated, so it couldn't we couldn't log out and have it like reform it, like rejoin our, yeah. our current memories, and just now we're digital. <laughs> it's too peculiar, huh? It is quite peculiar. I mean, how would you react if you just saw... A digital boy? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'd be concerned. So at least looking at her design, it wasn't as bad as the animation animated version, because that had a lot more buttons undone. <laughs> Just fully titties out, like meat norps poking in. She's living the dream. Maybe it's just a, a model from the Vita. There's no gravity to apply to it. This is just what she's gonna look like. Yeah. There's no chance of anything of, of physics affecting anything. <laughs> You're a detective. You're just a P you're a PI. How is how is would nobody be a better option here? Um cuz you're not you don't particularly she doesn't particularly ex have any expertise in cybersecurity. But sure. <laughs> don't worry about paying me for this mystery. I'm just so fucking fascinated by what's happening to you. I will see this through to the end just to sate my curiosity. <laughs> Line around her boobs there. Oh, it's just lines they put on so that the model doesn't blend in with itself. Mm. And you can technically see it on her on her sleeves as well. Yeah. See how it kind of disappears as the Yeah, as I know, it's, it's just model. weird, that's all. Okay, you're creating it really fucking weird and you're gonna scare away future clients. We need to fix this. <laughs> that conveyed so much emotion. Just, oh. yeah. Leave her alone. 
Yes, we're a digital form that obeys physical laws. This is kind of like the like mind over matter thing. Like we think yeah. we sit on our couch so we can sit on the couch. I don't know if, a ha if half cyber really fits it, considering, again, we are comprised 100% of data. Your body is made of data. I mean, wouldn't an avatar and Eden just be the same thing as any kind of 3D model? Um. <laughs> That's a good question. Can you log in in your current state? Um, you know, in a way. <laughs> Did something happen with the TV? Well, considering everyone's got a smart TV, this is actually not that weird. Yeah. Jump? Huh? Yeah, this is how we log in from now on. Oh god. Yeah, we just find something with a network and just jump in. Oh. This is basically the representation of a ban of bandwidth right here. Okay, that's actually kind of dope. <laughs> what the heck happened? And look, Mascarose is here. Look at the baby. Where's our body? Give it back. <laughs> More children. I like the cat lump. That one? Yeah. Goodbye, lump. Oh. oh, and... Sorry, just felt like mine is out. So basically, anytime we see a Digimon, it appears in our field guide. But if we don't see one... like this, and, But you can, as you can see, Palmon is lit up like this, because this yeah. is the one we actually have. So they get more lit... they get lit up... As we actually... We have them. Yeah. Okay. I guess that makes sense, though. So it's like we met, but we ain't friends yet, kind of thing. Yeah. How do we get our body back? <laughs> That's basically what we're gonna do now. Yeah, okay. Shoo. Yeah, do you ever think this is the stuff that was going on between the, the between computers? I did not. It's weird, isn't it? It is a little bit, but it's kind of neat at the same time. It's neat when games get, get, can have an excuse to kind of visualize an abstract concept. Yeah. Like, how would you visualize bandwidth? Uh, that's a good question. I was going to say, that would be a perfect spot to end this episode, but there's one more kind of tutorial thing I want to get out of the way. Okay. Oh, you don't want to get our body back first? Oh, we can do that next time. Oh, okay. It's kind of like, we just have to go through the area we were in last time. Yeah. But we have to get there first, but there's kind of a tutorial in the way. Okay. This is a weird question because we're not actually logging out. We're logging in this way. Now we're in Eden. No one's gonna get up from their seat when they see a weird digital body. Yeah. I guess our digital body has also been integrated with the Digivice itself though. Because we're still able to take calls and that was a Digivice function. Yeah. What the heck happened? It always just seems weird when an adult says something what like that. What the heck? 
No, swear like a normal person, you fucking asshole. I even swear just, a lot. Even just hell would have been better. Yeah. Just, what the hell happened there? Yeah. And if I was like, oh, it has, it has a connection to Eden. No, Eden is literally just full dive internet. Yeah. You have a connection to the internet. That's why we can reach Eden. <laughs> A dive. No, a jump! It's like, I, I stuck my hand out and got sucked into the TV. I didn't really jump. That involves using legs. Yeah. Head to the dark it. web. Yeah. <laughs> no point talking to anyone on that. Nope. Alright, Mirai just kind of... This is the Digimon. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is the Digimon lab where we can kind of yeah. manage everything. And this is Mirai. Oh, kitty! Mirai is another kind of... She's actually a reoccurring character in the Digimon games now. Okay. She first appeared in... Um, Digimon World Redigitize, which is a Japanese-only game. Yeah. But she's appeared in every Digimon game since. Not that there's been a lot. There's been this one, Hacker's Memory, and uh, Next... World Next Order, but she's appeared in all of them, hmm. and it's the same Mirai. So she, because the digital, because the digital world is more like a multiverse kind of thing. Like the digital world itself yeah. is not a hundred percent the same every time. Yeah. But she seems to have some sort of connection to be able to jump between them. Oh. <coughs> Which kind of makes sense if you think of it as maybe each digital world is a different server. Yeah. A server that's run by fucking gods, but... <laughs> she server jumps. Yeah, Mirai is the first person that you get introduced to in this game and Hacker's Memory that says, Yeah, Digimon aren't just programs. You might want to adjust to that. Yeah. That's because she's also jumped between worlds, where, like the actual digital worlds, and yeah. she's seen them in their natural habitats. <laughs> But like every, just like uh, Kurame, she's also kind of ab abstract about things. Okay. You won't get a straight answer out of Mirai. See, if it wasn't for someone that's outside knowledge of Digimon, this would probably be a very weird line. You're beginning to develop a deep connection with Digimon. If that Yugo guy heard that, he'd be like, what? <laughs> I can form co connections with program? Yeah. It's like getting attached to, like, I don't know, Microsoft Word. Hey, I had a great friendship with Clippy back in the day. <laughs> don't tell me you didn't. So this is the Dig Digimon Lab, and pretty much everything you need are on these first three terminals. The blue one, the green one, and the pink one. Yeah. This one will restore your Digimon's HP, like, so you can you can come back and just free restore for, yeah. some, for a little bit of yen, you'll never have an issue. This is the Digimon farm, so when you have a lot of Digimon... You can have them hang out? Yeah. Like right now, a level one farm... Oh yes, Minecraft. But you can also get them to train here, increase their stats, levels, those kind of things. Okay. So you, they can be. This is why, partially why I have such long play times on them because I put Digimon on the farm, put it on sleep mode, put it away. Yeah. Come back to it to see if their level increased. Okay. Uh, this is online PvP. Interesting. Yeah. That's just a thing. People have already people quickly found a meta and it's not going anywhere. <laughs> Uh, this little thing here is to re revisit any areas you can't revisit. So, like, the network we were just on is not one you can actually re revisit again. Okay. Because now if you try to log in from the TV, you just go straight to the Eden URLs. Yeah. So this is the way, like, if we wanted to get any more data on those three Digimon in particular, we can go through here in the Mirror Dungeon and just grind up their, their data. Okay. This is a shop. This is Amazing. just a shop to have on hand. Most of these things are way too fucking expensive. And then the Digibank is where we can also convert. Excuse me. 
It's not 100%, but I'm gonna going to convert Coromon. Because... Why are we converting him? So he can be our friend. Oh, okay. But oh, what about Pabumon? <coughs> we can convert Pabumon. I just don't know if he fits into any of the team members we have. He's so beautiful. We can have him as for a third member, just in case. He's just a baby. Yeah, this terminal is also where we can digivolve. So, Masqueros cannot de digivolve because we haven't seen a Tanamon. Yeah. Uh, and does not meet any of the stat requirements to evolve right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we actually can't get uh, Masqueros' next, like, next main line right now. Yeah. Because that's this one. Uh, level a cactus? A cactus. Uh, but that's level 16. Masqueros' max level is 15 right now. Oh. So we'll have to evolve and devolve. Um, Mask Rose at some point. Interesting. But at least we can also see what their attributes are, like their type. Yeah. So we have three options that are virus type and three options that are data type. And then Tanamon is a free type. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna move the other two to our party. They are babies. Yeah, so we're not going to evolve into Agumon, but that's... But because we've seen Agumon, we at least have a yeah, rough we can idea. Yeah, theoretically get him, yeah, right? We, yeah. So we have a rough idea of what we're looking at. Yeah. Compared to all... Like, I know who all these Digimon are, but that's because I know Digimon. Yeah. Actually, we're going to use Coromon because this is the one I'm going to evolve it into. Uh, for anyone who's watched Digimon Tamers, that is Gilmon. Okay. A red dinosaur. A dinosaur? And Pabumon and... Uh, like, and Pabumon being an actual infant level Digimon uh, can Digivolve into th three in trainings but cannot de Digivolve. But I might de Digivolve Koromon just so we can make, get the maximum ABI out of this one. But we'll keep Masqueros because. Yeah. We kind of need one that can actually hit hard right now. <laughs> or hit harder because these two are literal infants. Baby. Yeah, that's the Digimon Lab. Alright, let's talk to Nira again. Yeah, I understand the Digimon Lab. Goodbye. Wow, Jesus, you're so mean. We're going to be re returning here regularly. Because this is the only place we can go to evolve our Digimon. Oh yes, and she gives us hacking skills. What does that mean? It's basically those firewalls. We can now get rid of them. But each hacking skill requires a certain particular Digimon in the party. Yeah. So some of them are like... You need to have a virus type, or you need to have a free type, or vaccine data. Yeah. Yes, me right. You're just get, you're running down what we already know. Thank you. Yeah. So Mirai just has phones now throughout the internet. Oh. Yeah. This is where we log out, but this is also where we can access the Digimon Lab. Oh no, okay. this one, sorry, that one's just the Digimon lab, we can log out from oh here. Oh my god, look at the babies! But in the real world, like when we're in Tokyo, these can be used to access either the the net or the Digimon lab. Okay. Yeah. Look this is our party babies. right now. I love them. Uh, I'll have to see if we can turn Pabumon into anything that we're actually using. Okay. Uh, actually, I think, no, Pabumon can, no, Pabumon can Digivolve into Tanamon. So, that'll be one I'll put in the bank later, but that's one of your other ones. Yeah. Because you and Matt actually have two kind of side-by-side -side lines. Okay. Basically, I'm going to evolve, um, I'll probably evolve pa Pabumon into Tanamon and then into, into another Palmon. Because you picked a Digimon called Lotusmon. Right, 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 yes. Or I might Digivolve Tanamon into uh, Lalamon, just to keep it separate. Anyway, that's a thing for, no for another time. Uh, the only thing I would ask now is, because it's w one of your secondary ones, it's not going to be. Yeah. It's not going to be Patamon, but what would you like to name your your Fleur? Oh gosh. Or we could name it in the next and have everyone know the next time. <laughs> um. No, I'll do it now. Okay. Also, its bubbles are adhesive. Oh. <laughs> um. Well, just because of that, we're calling it Bubbles. Even though it evolved into a flower? Yes. Okay. It's a baby. The bubbles. Bubbles. 
Try to say bubbles with an angry voice. Bubbles. No, you gotta say it with an angry voice. I can't. <laughs> Uh, this, is, this one's gonna be my main one. So. <laughs> I'm gonna call him Dukely. What? I'm gonna call him Dukely. Dukely? Dukely. Nice. Alright. Uh, we'll have to get our, another one of our main ones next time, though. We'll see you over the next episode of Sun Dorks Play. Yeah.